Good evening. Welcome to our service of Compline. Uh, thank you so much to you who have tuned in over the weekend and in a special thank you to those of you who sent me messages telling me to uh, get well or that you were praying for me because of my neck. Um, as you can see, your prayers have worked and I am a lot more mobile and um, relatively pain-free, so thank God for that. Um, on this day, the Church of England uh, celebrates the Lesser Festival of St Alban, who is the first British martyr. And so today we pray with him and we pray with all of the martyrs who have seeded God's church in the past 2,000 years. So everything that you need is on the screen in front of you. And so we prepare to pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Amen. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart. More than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for it is you, Lord, only who make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus said the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel. In returning and rest, you shall be saved. In quietness and in trust shall be your strength. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. 
hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Let us pray. And we pray on this day giving thanks for the day that lies behind giving thanks for the decrease in numbers of deaths due to the virus giving thanks for the beauty and the stability of the world around us giving thanks that we are still here giving thanks for all god's mercies Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the world, the world about us, especially that little part of the world in which we find ourselves, praying for our villages, for this part of Oxfordshire, for our country, for our leaders, and especially for those who have the responsibility of governance that they will be given wisdom and they will behave with integrity and courage. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those in any sort of need. We remember especially Margaret Whip and her long road to recovery. We pray for Jen. We pray for Chris and Grant. We pray for Paul. We pray for Paul Smith. We pray for Muriel. We pray for Anne. We pray for David and Jean. We pray especially on the first anniversary of his death for the soul of Kirk Ziska and particularly for his family. We pray for Jane. We pray for all who are suffering stress as a result of lockdown, either stress because of lockdown or stress because it's being eased. We pray for all those who are ministering either in the church or in the community to the needs of those around them. We pray especially for Judith, for Joe, for Jeanette, for Jane, for all these courageous people who are continuing to contribute to the lives of those they are called to care for. We pray for the schools, especially our own school and for Miss Gillian, the the head teacher and her staff. We pray for those who use the family hub and ask for God to bless them. 
and we pray for everyone who has lost their job or who will lose their job as a result of the virus and its effect on the economy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Be present, O oh merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And a prayer for our homes and villages. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So in peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for tuning in for Compline. I hope to see you tomorrow. In the morning, Bob and Carol Heathwhite will be leading our prayers and we'll have Compline again at uh, nine in the evening tomorrow. So God bless. Good night. Sleep well. See you in the morning. <laughs>